Have you ever thought, there's no way I can save money with my current situation? If so, you're not alone. Do you struggle with saving money or are you looking for new strategies to save more? Welcome back to Empower and Thrive. Today, I'm sharing my honest tips for anyone looking to save money, no matter your income or expenses. Stick around because these practical strategies might just change the way you think about saving. First, let's talk about mindset. One of the biggest hurdles in saving money is believing you can actually do it. Start by setting a clear, realistic savings goal. Whether it's $500 or $5,000, having a target gives you something to strive for. Write it down, put it somewhere visible, and remind yourself daily why you wanna save. This keeps you motivated and focused on your goal. Avoid the temptation to think you can't do this or that saving is for people who make more than you, or that you can't afford to save. It's easy to fall into a negative mindset about money, but changing the way you think about saving and your personal finances really is the first step to a better financial future. Next up, the power of small changes. You don't have to overhaul your entire life to save money. Look at your daily habits and find small, manageable changes. Every small step you take towards saving money brings you closer to financial freedom. Maybe it's brewing coffee at home instead of hitting the cafe or packing a lunch. These little adjustments can add up to significant savings over time. Remember, it's not about depriving yourself, but finding balance. You may be like, yeah, yeah, I've heard that before and I don't buy lattes ever. But what else can you cut back on? Things like cigarettes or vapes can add up to even more than daily lattes fast. So do most alcoholic drinks. I'm not telling you how to live your life, just giving you ideas on things that are expensive and unnecessary expenses. Try to find things which you can eliminate and you will be surprised how quickly your savings add up. Another crucial tip is to track your spending. It might sound tedious, but knowing where your money goes is eye-opening. Use a budgeting app or a simple spreadsheet to categorize your expenses. I know, I know, it sounds boring, but trust me, it's worth it. You'll quickly spot areas where you can cut back. One of the biggest challenges people face when trying to save money is the temptation to spend. We've all been there, we see something we want, and before we know it, it's in our cart and on its way to our doorstep. But the truth is, those impulse purchases can add up quickly and destroy our budgets. Take some time to track your spending and see where your money is going. Then, cut back where you can. This will help you get to your financial goals sooner. Another tip is to automate your savings. Set up automatic transfers from your checking account to your savings account each payday before you get a chance to spend the money. This way, you're prioritizing savings before you even have a chance to spend that money. Start with a small amount, like $20, and gradually increase it as you get more comfortable. You'll be surprised how quickly your savings grow without much effort. Lastly, remember to be kind to yourself. Saving money is a journey, and there will be setbacks. Unexpected expenses happen, and that's normal. The key is to stay committed and get back on track as soon as possible. Be patient with yourself and recognize the progress you're making, no matter how small. The biggest key to saving money is to stay consistent and stay motivated. Don't get discouraged if you slip up, just get back on track and keep moving forward. To quote Billy Idol, it's a nice day to start again. To recap, the keys to saving money are to make sure you are in a savings mindset, make small, consistent changes, track your spending and create a budget, cut out unnecessary expenses, automate your savings, and most importantly, be kind to yourself. It's not rocket science, but it does take discipline and determination. Remember, every small step you take towards saving money brings you closer to financial freedom. And don't forget to celebrate small wins. Each time you save a little, you're one step closer to your goal. Thanks for watching, and I hope you found these tips helpful. If you have any money-saving tips of your own, please share them in the comments section below.
And if you want more financial advice and tips, be sure to subscribe. I'll see you in the next video. Until next time, keep thriving.